Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining us today on Ludicrous Feed. We are reviewing software update 2022.4.5.16 here in our Tesla Model 3 here in Sydney, Australia. We also received a navigation data update, now we're up to 2022.8 and the car software is up to date as of 11th of March 1509, which is right now. Let's press the release notes right now. Okay, so the release notes here are for 2022.4.5.16. They're no different to what was present in 2022.4.5.5. That includes cabin camera, regenerative braking in autopilot, car colorizer, and save dash cam clips. I've already gone through all these features in previous update videos, so make sure you check those out as well. And of course, leave a comment below in the comment section if you're going to allow the cabin camera to be enabled for your Tesla. And there's just one more thing I want to show you that a viewer pointed out to me in my last update video, and that is that voice navigation language can now be changed between British English and American English. So we've always had it as the British English voice by default. So today we're going to go for a drive in American English to see what the difference is. All right, let's hit the open road for an autopilot test drive. I'll see you shortly. Okay, everyone, welcome back. And uh, we're on the open road and the sun is out in Sydney, for which I am very thankful for. Let's engage autopilot by double tapping on the right stalk here. There we go. Tram tracks. And uh, yeah, it should just basically go up the straight road up Pacific Highway, which would be quite nice. And uh, we've got the American English navigation voice on today. So uh, looking forward to hearing that. If we don't hear anything because we're going on a straight road, we might turn off and uh, see whether we can uh, engage that voice. So uh, we've got the FSD package here in Sydney. So um, there are some features which may or may not be available if you've just got the basic autopilot auto steer with your Tesla. I'll try and point out the differences today. And uh, yeah, there may still be some potholes from the rain. So my tolerance for taking off the autopilot may be quite low today just because I don't want to drive through them. But I'm um, hoping the uh, local council today has fixed up a few of them. We'll see what we can find. And uh, because it's got um, autopilot regen braking, it, uh, it should be less harsh as well. We've had that in the, over the last few updates uh, in low speed. So looking forward to also testing that. Uh, I dare say that time that uh, accelerated a little bit quicker to stop the mark from a uh, standing start, so yeah, maybe things have changed. So uh, with just basic autopilot, um, just beware when you're going across traffic lights. If you are the first car, it won't react to the traffic light. If you're the second and subsequent car on basic autopilot, it should be okay, but if you're going across an intersection at a traffic light and you're the first car, just be careful be prepared to stop because autopilot won't stop for you. If you've got the FSD package then it should react to a red light. You'll still be able to see the red lights on the screen there but uh, it may not react. Just uh, make sure you guys can see that. I'll just swivel the screen just a touch there. There we go. So far so good on this drive. And the autopilot really does come on into its own on um, in low speed traffic like this. It's quite nice really, you don't have to keep stopping and starting. The um, autopilot will do that for you and auto steer. And uh, because now there's autopilot with regen braking and low speeds, it's really quite nice. Just, uh, just letting the car do its thing. I think I've got it on follow number one. Okay, let's bring it up to, let's say four. Just still a bit wary of uh, the defects in the road with the rain. Coming up to a red light there, that's quite nice. That's regen braking kicking in, whereas probably three or four updates ago without that regen braking, it would just break really harshly. So that's quite nice. So we'll do an end-to-end -end drive today. I won't skip anything. That way you can see what autopilot is like, warts and all, over the next you know, 10 or so minutes. And uh, try and engage that uh, American English uh, navigation for you. If, uh, if she doesn't come on, we will uh, we'll try and turn off. Okay, still doesn't really speed up too quickly. 
at an intersection just yet, so I was wrong on that occasion previously. It's still a bit slow. That's okay. I can deal with that. That's something I'm hoping Tesla will rectify soon. Okay, so of course with FSD package you can change lanes like this to the right. Blind spot monitoring comes on. Uh, that doesn't happen with uh, autopilot basic. So that is one nice benefit of the FSD package. Of course, hands on the wheel at all times, everyone. I dare say the roads have possibly improved. Haven't seen as many potholes today just yet. By now we've probably come across two or three, so maybe the council has found some time to fix it, given that uh, it stopped raining finally. Yeah, it really is quite nice autopilot when you've got it on a straight road. Just, uh, you know, it's quite lovely. Even on an urban road like this. I'm just obviously wary of very wide intersections. Sometimes the lane markings aren't great in Sydney. And if you've got like cl traffic lights very close together like that, then you've just got to be careful because it'll try to stop. Oh, I just had to disengage then because it was getting very close to that side lane there, or the side of the road. You want to climb the curb there. I uh, don't make, um, you know, I don't, I, I try to be honest with autopilot. It's certainly still always a work in progress. Let's re-engage it. Oop, sorry. Here we go, re-engage it. You've got to make sure that grey steering wheel symbol comes on. Always be super vigilant, of course. Yeah, again, just disengaged again. It's always very low tolerance for disengaging, I think. All right, I'm going to try and find a side road, and that way we can try to uh, get the uh, American English navigation person. Nope, nope. Van in that lane. All right, so re-engage autopilot through this bit here. In slow traffic, just to show you more of an example of that. See how it handles this traffic light here. Yeah, that's quite good that time. I find autopilot is um, works better when uh, there are cars for it to help track on either side and definitely in front as well. It's pretty good there. Pretty impressive. Yeah, that time rounded the curve pretty well. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think the road quality has improved. Pretty good, pretty smooth today. All right, I might pause this video for a second and try and find some side roads to uh, to get the uh, navigation voice up.
Okay, so we've turned off onto Monaval Road. Let's see whether we can get the American voice up for navigation. Let's uh, put autopilot back on. Double tap right stop, nope, pothole. Double tap again. As I said, low tolerance for turning it off. Yeah, quite like Monavale Road. Less traffic lights. Nice drive. So, uh, just got to turn off on Pentecost Avenue there, so we will see whether we can get that voice. Good traffic today. Yeah, when you've got an open road like this, autopilot is just, just so nice. And uh, here's a little tip: if uh, you know if the, if the speed posted speed sign changes like that, it's going to become 60 real soon. And as soon as you pass it, there's two ways to uh, to match the posted speed sign. You can either tap the screen, and it should match, or you can right stalk, tap down, to hold two seconds. And it'll do the same. I mean, you can do it either way, but I find if I do that, I've got to look at the screen. That might be. Um, not as safe as tapping down the right stalk like that, so watch this. There we go, speed will change to 60, and I'll just hold the right stalk down, one, two. Matches the speed sign quite nicely there. Okay, so we're coming up to Pentecost Avenue, turning left. So waiting all drive to hear this voice. Things we do, huh? Finally. That's quite a nice soothing voice actually. What do you guys think? Do you like the uh, the British English voice or the American English voice? Might be nice to have both on occasion. I'll just turn off autopilot when I'm turning left. Very calming. I wonder if they'll ever instill uh, an Australian English voice. What about a South African English voice? A New Zealand English voice? Canadian English voice? Why stop at uh, just American and British English voice? Anyway, just some thoughts, Elon Musk, if you're watching. All right, everyone, that's it for me today. That's 2022.4.5.16. <laughs> I just uh, had to call up the screen there to see what it was. I'm losing track of uh, what it is. But uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, we got to hear the American English voice there and the other release notes we've gone through already in previous videos. All right, everyone, take care of yourselves and uh, I shall see you at the next software update video. And as always, happy charging.